During the interview, Deputy Commissioner of Police Zachary Mwangi Kingori admitted to the presence of rampant corruption running deep in the police service, especially in the traffic department. I was contributing to some members of the public wanting to get it uh, over with it uh, very quickly. That is one. The other one is uh, the punishment, the cost of that uh, engaging yourself in that corrupt activity. I think in the past it has not been, it has not been, uh, it, it, it has not been that high. And uh, the last one is that sense of, uh, the sense of, what do you call it, where the, the officers, they feel that uh, even if they, uh, that, that like they have to take it to survive, which in itself is wrong. So, so those are the three I can think of. Though confident of his performance to help curb the high rate of corruption, he was challenged by public complaints of murder and involvement in drug trafficking, filed against him, especially by civil society activist Okia Omtata. We feel Mr. Mwangi is not qualified to be appointed Inspector General of Police because he is yet to be cleared of grave accusations that have been made against him, including the following. One, he committed murder. Two, he obstructed the access of the victims of police assistance, including even recording their complaints against him in the OB. Three, he was involved in drugs and the trafficking. Kingori dismissed the accusations, saying Omtata was fed with wrong information, deliberately to tarnish his name. He was first to note that he has never killed anyone as far as his job was concerned. Some people, since they, they had not removed the Kudaluda, they could not see, then they, they added that party. The reason why I removed the Lord blocks as per the commissioner's instruction and also to stop misconduct. On the, and now this are the cause is because I wanted to smuggle drugs. Mr. Uh, Chairman, let me say this with all due respect. If anything, I will not even expect an OCS to get involved in smuggling bank. So that is the kind of suffering I suffered. And I can tell you, it has been very painful. Also appearing before the commission today was Director of CID, Francis Ndegwa Muhoro. The interviews continue until Saturday. Chairman, during the post-election violence, I was not carrying a pistol, and the records in Mombasa would show. I want to show you the kind of a man I am. I was shot here in 2003. I disarmed the one who shot me. I had a point three eight special, which I also took out, but I couldn't bring myself to shoot him. I had a door for body pistols to a watchman, and then later on, we, t we arrested that man, took him to the Australia police station. That's the kind of a man I am with regard to firearms. I've never shot anybody in my life. My, old, my work have never required me to shoot anybody. Josephine Awera, GBS.